Okay, this is set we caught our coon in right here. It's all drifted in and stuff. I actually cleared this one off. After we got all this snow, we got about, here's some coon tracks too. Um, we got about, we got a fresh few inches here. Um, but this is a set pull day, so there's a set right down in here somewhere. So, right in this little clump of stuff right here. So I'm going to dig that up. Just been using drill and auger there. Um, just on clipping them from the wolf fang anchors there. She's been working out pretty nice. So then we'll get those wolf fang anchors. We'll probably we'll set here again. And then we'll be able to get those wolf fang anchors in the spring too. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Okay. So here we're picking up the last set here. Just for clarification too, that last clip I took, that is not where the trap was. It was 10 yards farther down the trail. And I quickly realized that. <laughs> but here we got, so here's where we had one of our dirt holes. You can see the hole there. We had this big clump of dirt here as the backing. Okay, so first off, Trap was frozen in pretty good there, pretty surely. But got it dug out. We're about to, um, actually, never mind. We'll, yeah, we'll dig up the earth anchor on this one so that we can move it. We'll keep it in this location, but we got to figure out that backing, eh? So we're going to figure out that backing. This is one farm we're pulling. Got, well, we got to pull all of them today. Can't check them for a bit, which is what it is. So we'll keep moving here. Um, yeah, we'll figure out that backing here in a little bit. See what's up with that. Because I see now that, like, if they're traveling back there, they would just come in and shove their nose in there. But I'm also pretty sure that I had my homemade liver bait in there too, so that's pretty awesome. Because if he would have came in from this way, you saw how far his feet was from there, he'd have been caught. But that's how it goes. You can wish all you want, but... Ain't getting you nowhere. What the heck was that? Huh. Well, we'll keep her moving here. Thanks for watching. Well, we got that one pulled. That was a real sum gun to pull. This drill is being a glutton for punishment too. But we got it done. Um, the old quad there, she's, he's, he likes the snow, hates the cold. Can't see him. Yeah, it's not even that dark out. My phone's just not working very good. But let's see here. We're gonna keep her moving. Well, here we are at another set we had. This was the one where we had um, a dirt hole kind of thing right underneath of this cow skull here. I really regret not, well, I guess I don't know about regret. There was nothing I could do about it. But this set's frozen tight, hey? You can even see maybe if there's a little urine one of them put up on there. It's all ravaged, dug up everything. Man. That's disappointing. You know? But there's nothing I could do about it, really. Because it snowed all this whole bunch. And my set wasn't freeze-proofed enough. So, we'll keep on moving. We're definitely going to reset this one. Look at all of those tracks, hey? They're all over the place. See, fresh ones too. Fresh kite tracks. Well, nothing I can do about it here. This one you can see. They were digging it. See, you can see that urine there too. They were digging at that one a pretty bit. So we're learning kind of how our set, how our baits and lures are working here. Okay, so today when we were out trapping, 
I was growing not too pretty fond of this here drill bit attachment hooked up to a drill. It was always slipping off the drill up there where you attached it. and um, Like no matter what, if I put it on a nicer drill or whatever, you know, I just wasn't really too fond of it. Works good for some people, but for me, I got to really force up on that thing to get it to pop the dirt out of the ground, especially for the first few inches where there's lots of moisture in the ground and it's all froze up and stuff. So I just took some rebar here, cut it. What I did is I just held my hand on, I just held my hand on either side of it like that. Held hands on there and that was how long I cut it to be there. And, um, well now you can't see it at all. And then, Welded it on there. I uh, drilled this hole pretty nice. I can, you can see it's all filled in with junk now. But two and a half inch drill bit, uh, or two and a half inch auger, I mean, I think it is. Either two, two and a half, something like that. But yeah, it drilled a hole there pretty good. I learned that you sometimes got her tap on it to get her to start or with the end of it go on the end of it to start it out right away to make it catch but then she goes pretty good especially once you get past the lots of moisture in the ground she goes pretty good thanks for watching everybody hope you all enjoyed today's video